Today we are handling another important topic in physics, pressure in fluid and Pascal's principle. Please watch this video to the end from the explanatory part to the calculation part and you're going to understand this concept of pressure in fluid and Pascal's principle. Let's go right into the video. Welcome to today's class. Pressure is defined as force acting per unit area. Pressure is force acting perpendicularly per unit area. And remember that force is equal to mg, mass times acceleration, all over the area. Another thing I want you to recall is that density, in physics, we represent density with rho. Density is mass over volume. That means density rho is equal to mass over volume. If we cross multiply this, V times rho, M times 1, we have it that mass is equal to rho V. So we are going to bring mass is equal to rho V into this, our formula for pressure. And that will make equation one, let's call this one equation one. That will make it that pressure is equal to, remember, mass is rho v, rho v g over a. We can go ahead and replace equation two. Remember that volume is equal to area times height area in cm cm square height in cm that will give you volume as cm cube so we are going to replace volume with a h so that we are going to have pressure to be rho instead of volume we we'll have a h g over a Area will cancel area. Finally, we'll have pressure as rho hg. Please note this, that pressure is equal to rho hg. Before we solve some calculations, I want you to note these units of pressure. Pressure is equal to force over area. And we have gotten another formula that pressure is density, that's rho, h, and g. h, rho, g. Anyhow you want to put it, h, rho, g. Please note it. It's very, very important. The unit of pressure, remember, force is in Newton and area is in meter square. So the unit of pressure is in Newton Newton per meter square. Remember, unit is very important in physics. Then other units of pressure are 1.013 raised to the power 5 Newton per meter square is equal to 1 atmosphere, which is also equal to 1.013 times 0 raised to the power 5 Pascal. You can also measure pressure in millimeters of mercury in Pascal. So these are other units of pressure. Let's look at this example. A reservoir is filled with a liquid of density 200 kg per meter cube. Calculate the depth at which the pressure in the liquid will be equal to 9,100 newton 
per meter square. Take G as 10 meter per second square. Let's write out all that we have been given. Density row. We have it as 2000 kg per meter cube. Pressure P as Newton per meter square. G as 10 meter per second square. Now, which formula are we going to apply to solve this problem? Pressure is equal to H rho G. This formula shows that pressure depends on, on height and density. Okay, let's put in everything. Remember, we are looking for the question said we should calculate the depth, that's height. So if we make H the subject of the formula, by dividing here, we have H rho G. Dividing here by rho and G. Rho and G so that H will stand out. H that we are looking for is equal to pressure over rho G. Pressure is 9100. Rho is 2000 times G is 10. So we'll have if we solve it, we are going to have 0 0.455 meters. 5, 5 meters. Let's go to Pascal's principle. Pascal's principle states that the pressure applied to an enclosed fluid is transmitted undiminished to every portion of the fluid and to the walls of the containing vessel. Pascal's principle is applied in hydraulic press such that F1 over A1 is equal to F2 over A2. The statement of Pascal's principle gives this. How did we come about this? If we have two cylinders of different diameters joined by a connecting tube, cylinder A1, and another cylinder A2 joined by a connect, connecting tube. If a small force, F1, is applied at A1, transmitting pressure through the connecting pipe or tube to the larger cylinder, area A2 and force F2. Since pressure is the same in both cylinders, pressure is the same. Remember that pressure is force over area, force over area. We can have it that F1 over A1 is equal to F2 over A2. So this is a hydraulic press. Now, how do we solve examples under this? Example two. The radius of the large cylinder of hydraulic press is 20 cm and that of the small cylinder is 5 cm. If a force of 100 newton is applied on the small piston, calculate the force on the large, larger one. Giving the radius for the large cylinder to be 20 cm, let's use R2 for the larger one, is 20 cm. And that of the smaller cylinder is 5 cm. Let's use R1 as 5 cm. If a force of 100 newton is applied on the smaller one, let's say F1, that's this side. F1 is 100. We are looking for F2. You can see that in this case, what is given is the radius then we have to find the area for each of them. And remember that area is equal to pi r squared. 
So A1 will be pi, which is 3.142 times R for the first one. Let's use that 5 cm. We are going to convert it to meter so that everything will be in standard units. Divide this by 100 so that you have 0 0.05 meters. Divide this by 100 so that you have 0 0.2 meters. That's the first thing to do. So for the area A1, we'll have it times R is 0 0.05 all squared. A2. A2 also use R, pi R2 squared, which will give us 3.142 times R2 is 0 0.2 all squared. So let's go ahead and put it in this formula to find F2. F1A1 is equal to F2A2. If we cross multiply, F2 times A1, this times this is equal to F1 times A2. That's if we cross multiply. Let's make F2 the subject of the formula. F2 divided by A1 divided by A1 will be F1 times A2 over A1. So let's substitute everything. F1 is 100 times A2 is 3.142 times 0 0.2 squared over A1. A1 is 3.142 times 0 0.05 squared. So that our final answer for the force we are looking for will be 1,000. 600 Newton. Okay, take this, take the following assignment. The area of the effort and low piston of a hydraulic press are 0 0.5 meters square and 5 meters square respectively. If a force F1 of 100 Newton is applied on the effort, what is the force F2 on the load? Another assignment, in a hydraulic press, a force of 40 Newton is applied on the effort piston of area 0.4 meters square. If the force exerted on the load is 400 Newton, what is the area of the large piston? Please do well to like, share, subscribe, and turn the bell notification for more videos. Try the assignment and vote for your answer in the community practice area.